my channel. I am the Mystical Intuitive. Um, today we're going to look at why your person is not contacting you and like whether they will contact you or what actions they are going to take towards you. So I have four piles. The first pile is the Moonstone. The second pile is the Hematite Quartz. Hematite Quartz. The third pile is the Rose Quartz. And the fourth pile is the Clear Quartz. Okay, yeah, so just pick a pile and then we'll get started. Okay, if you chose the first pile, the Moonstone, this is your reading. We're going to look at whether your person, um, like why they are not contacting, contacting you right now and whether they will contact you in the future or what other actions they will take towards you. Show me for pile one. Okay, so if you chose pile one, the moonstone, we're going to look at um, why a person is not contacting you and whether they will. So let's flip over the cards. We have the um, king of wands. We have the two of pentacles. We have the um, six of pentacles reversed. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. We have the 
a temperance card reversed. We have the tower reversed. We have the um, the high priestess reversed. We have the judgment reversed. We have the world reversed. We have the death card uh, reversed. And we have the two of swords reversed. And here we have, this could be the one. You, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then we have Ask Your Angels in reverse. And we also have I Fear I Have Messed Up This Connection For Good. I feel like I can be vulnerable and open to you. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with you. I'm really sorry. Um, I also drew some cards for you. These are your feelings and your thoughts. So if you resonate with this part of the reading over here, you know whether this reading is for you or not. So on your side, um, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have listen to your intuition in reverse. And then we have um, you are the one that got away. I know you are watching me. The path, the path to you seems so complicated and messy. Um, sometimes I think it is better if we would go our separate ways. Um, and then we also have some cards over here. It says you are ignoring signs and your intuition about this relationship. This connection is going towards a higher level of commitment. You two are, so we'll be reconnecting and talking again. Um, money issues and work are interfering in this connection. Their intentions are not 100% pure. Okay, so um, right away, I don't... Uh, the reason why they are like contacting you is because there are... They are very busy and it's likely because of work or they're busy with finances because we have here the king of wands and the two of pentacles so they are you know in this king of wands mode they are very um you know action oriented they're taking a lot of action maybe they're an entrepreneur and they're starting their own business and you know they're going uh they have like a lot of things to do or maybe they have um, a lot of responsibilities in their job. So they're struggling a lot and sort of juggling a lot of responsibilities right now. And that's why in the past with the Six of Pentacles reversed, there was not an equal give and take towards you. I think you gave way more than they did. Um, yeah, I don't think it's they didn't give you back to you because like they were like chasing other people or they had like really uh like a malicious intent and i just think that they were genuinely too busy and with the five of pentacles reverse i feel like they know they sort of abandoned you but that was not their intention and you feel sort of neglected but that is not um how they wanted you to feel to feel because I do think that they see potential with you I think 
they might think that you um, could be the one for them. So they are very serious with you, but perhaps they are sort of, before they um, go into a, um, a, like a serious commitment or even a marriage, marriage, they want like their work and their finances in order so that they can provide for their um, significant other and family. Maybe it's where they get their confidence, right? And before they have those things uh, settled, they can't really um, sort of go all in in this connection. So I see here with the Four of Pentacles reversed. Um, um, yeah, that they're sort of, sort of um, coming out of like holding back. Because I do see here and this could also be your energy. Maybe you've like detached from them because you perhaps think that they are sort of, um, yeah, playing you could be. Sort of you perhaps have sort of let go a bit of this connection. Um, and with the tower reversed, yeah, there are some difficult things going on in their life. It's not just that they are very... Um, busy and they have a lot of responsibilities i feel like they're trying to um sort of take actions in their life that prevent like this tower moment tower moment um that prevent a disaster from happening in their life um i do feel that they do think that it was like a bad decision to to sort of only focus on their work and finances and not like um, nurture this connection more. Um, yeah, I just see that their life right now is in chaos. It's out of balance. It could be due to um, the COVID-19 lockdown, of course. Um, yeah, but they feel you pulling back. You are this high priestess reverse. You know, you are sort of aloof. Um, you are very mysterious to them, but they feel like they can never like grab you, so to say. You you always like get away from them. Yeah, they think you're very mysterious. And yeah, also with the high priestess reverse, it feels like to me that they are out of touch with their uh, intuition and their inner being. So. They're not making the best decisions right now. They're out of touch with their feelings and their intuition. So, yeah, there's sort of chaos in, in, in balance. And I see this, uh, that, that fact right here with Ask Your Angels. They're not really connected to their higher self and their angels. I think, um, yeah, they sort of fear that they have messed up because they see that you um, have pulled back. They feel that. You don't talk as much anymore. Maybe you don't talk anymore. Could be. Um, yeah, but they like talking to you because they can be vulnerable and open to you. They, they think you're very kind, very sweet, very understanding, very sympathetic. You listen to them. They can, yeah, they can open up about their problems. Um, yeah, but I don't know whether they have told you about their problems in their work or, or with money. Um, and maybe they are going to tell you this uh, when they contact you. Because I do see that they will contact you. Um, so probably they've already told you this or they are going to tell you this because they feel like they can be vulnerable and open to you. I feel like... They miss, um, they miss here with the high priestess reverse your 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 guidance, your advice. You were like this to them, um, someone who was very knowledgeable and always gave them good advice, and they kind of miss that in their life. Kind of think that they will realize, you know, um, they're not better off without you. And even though they're like. Um, busy with work and 
you know, with their finances and everything. They still think about you. They probably think about you all day because they're kind of obsessed with you. And um, you probably um, notice that. Because we here on your side, we have, I know you are watching me. So maybe um, they have liked like a, a post on Facebook or Instagram, I don't know. So you know that they are watching you. Maybe you guys work together. Although with COVID right now, you probably are not very, you probably work from home. But if you work together, you might see them like looking at you. Or you might hear from other people if you have mutual friends that they've asked about you. But you just know, or maybe it's just your intuitive feeling. Maybe you've had other tarot readings that say, say, says the same thing. But you kind of know that, that they are watching you right now. Because yeah, they're kind of obsessed with you. And they're very sorry that they neglected you. Yeah, they're very sorry. But on... Um, on your side, I feel like um, you're kind of um, giving up because you see them as the one that got away. Yeah, you like them. Yeah, you feel like this is a special connection. So you both feel that the other person is like the one or could be the one. But yeah, I think... You see them pulling back as them not wanting you. As them like sort of breaking up with you for good. That they don't have the intention of coming back. So you kind of see them as the one that got away. Um, yeah, you see like so many obstacles between you two. That you're kind of like, what's the point? Why would I, um, you know, pursue this further if this person won't give me um back you know you probably have been stuck in this cycle with them that you give you get your hopes up and they don't give back and then you're disappointed so you're just kind of fed up and um maybe there are other obstacles maybe um you work together you work together and you can't um be like date people um that you work with or you maybe live in different countries, maybe family members and friends are against this union. I don't see other people, but it could be if you know personally that they are seeing other people or they are with someone. But I don't see it in this spread, so it's probably for a few of you. But yeah, you're like, what's the point of this connection? Yeah, you think they are the one, yeah, you... you have a lot of feelings for them, but you just think you're better off alone. I think you are, um, you are preparing to, um, like you desire a new love. Maybe you've already met someone new and you, you've met someone that, that intrigued you and you're maybe talking to them. Um, yeah, so you're ready for new love, something that is uncomplicated and someone who like adores you, worships you, gives back, you know, just treats you right. You're very ready for that. You're sort of fed up with that. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, with the world card reversed over here if i can only get it <laughs> and then the death card these both of these cards are talk about ending but since they are reversed it tells me that this person doesn't want this to end and also that you will probably talk to them again um or you will deal with them again but with the Two of Swords reversed. And with the Judgment card. I kind of feel like. Perhaps. Perhaps you, you. Like if they text you. You will like not respond back. Or you've blocked them. There are obstacles. You sort of have this. I, I feel this is you. This Two of Swords energy towards them. This is a big no. You are blocked off from them. Emotionally also. Maybe they sense this with the judgment. 
I think they know if they contact you that um, that you know they're gonna um, you are gonna say your uh, truth to them you're gonna say your peace to them and that won't be uh, very nice for them so they know that you will uh, yeah you have some words to say to them <laughs> but yeah with the two of swords hmm maybe if you can if they contact you you're sort of in unsure about them um yeah i do get the sense um with the listen to your intuition card in reverse and you are ignoring your sides uh, ignoring signs and your intuition about this relationship that this um whole attitude of of, or this decision of blocking them out and, and looking for new love because you think that there is nothing right here and they will never commit to you um, that that is not what your intuition is trying to tell you that is not what your guides are trying to tell you your angels, your inner being because I get the sense that you two will have a, a, a good opportunity towards higher connection because this card is saying this connection is going towards a higher level of commitment maybe you never thought that it would and it says here you two are says will be reconnecting and talking again um i do get the sense that the only reason why you're like blocked off from them is because you think that they don't want you and they don't want to pursue things any further and you're like mm, well then i'm gonna go on to the next person but I think your intuition is trying to tell you um, something different. And uh, it's trying to tell you that this is going towards a higher level of commitment. And that you two will probably um, be talking again. It could be with their intu intentions are not 100% pure. Um, that this is like um, an energy from the past. They probably were selfish and just focused on themselves because of their money and work issues but that uh, is coming to an end um yeah because they're very sorry so yeah that is why they don't um why why they are not contact contacting you right now it's because they are busy with money and work they are having some difficulties in their life it's not other people and they will contact you again. They do see you as the one, you two. But you're um, like trying to connect, uh, pursue other people. And your spirit guides are saying, wait, hold on. You know, wait a bit longer. Give this person a chance because they will come back. I will pull some advice cards for you. Show me spirit. What advice do you have for pile one? What advice do you have for pile one? Okay. We have no more breadcrumbs. So um, it's good that you put up, uh, put up boundaries to them and that you didn't put up with their breadcrumbs. That they uh, because they weren't giving um, the same as you so keep that spirit up you know don't if they come back and, and when they contact you and they are offering the same as what you had before you know don't allow them to come back in then um, yeah sort of you need to figure out whether you want them or not because I feel like with the intuition card reversed maybe you um, one day you're, you're like, okay, um, no, I will wait for this person or this is like the one I want to be with them. And then the next day is, oh, they're never going to commit. I'm never going to have the relationship I want with them. Um, this is like, um, someone who's deceiving me and I don't want to be with them. So you really need to ask some signs uh, and meditate on this and ask signs from your from source um 
whether you want them or not, whether you want a long-term relationship with them. Because it's not good for you to just switch back because it doesn't give you like peace of mind. But I do get the sense with the new love card over here is that if you decide to not pursue anything long-term with them, that there will be a new love. So don't uh, decide to stay with them out of fear that you will never um, choose. But I also get the sense that if you pursue this with them, you know, it could lead to a beautiful, long-lasting relationship. Yeah. Don't finger point, take responsibility. So I feel like um, that's the same with no more breadcrumbs, you know. You teach them how they treat you. So you just need to tell them when they come back or if you're still contacting them that, you know, you're not um, letting them um, treat you this way. Just tell them, like, I know what I want. I want someone who is committed, who is, like, dependable, consistent. And, you know, um, stick to that. You know, don't take anything less from them because, you know, take responsibility. You teach someone how they treat you. And then it says, you might question your desirability, but you may be surprised how many people want you. And this is what I picked up uh, in the reading. I think you think that they are not into you or perhaps they, um, they're they only physically uh, attracted to you or something. They're only after a certain thing, if you know what I mean. But um, it's not true because they see that you could be the one. So they, they, they do value you. So... Um, yeah, don't question it. <laughs> Just teach them how they should treat you. Be present and enjoy the positive things this connection brings you right now. So that is, I feel like, your attitude, um, what your attitude should be when they text you and they perhaps want to uh, reconnect and pursue this again. Um, just enjoy the moments that you have. Be positive. Because I do feel like they've changed. And they're very sorry. And uh, yeah. They know they messed up. So if you have this um, attitude. Like being present and being positive And enjoying this connection. I feel like it will take you to where you want. In this, um, in this connection. Like a long lasting healthy relationship. Yeah. Okay. That was your um, advice. And that's all I have for you, Pile uh, 1. I hope it resonated uh, with you. Please comment down below whether it resonated. Um, I'd love to interact with you guys. Um, I hope to see you back again on my channel and have a nice day. Bye. Okay, if you chose Pile 2, the Hamatide Quartz, this one. This is your reading. Why is your person not contacting you and whether and will they in the future contact you? That's what we're going to look uh, at today. So yeah, I'm going to shuffle the cards.
Okay, pile two, the hematite quartz. If you chose this pile with this stone, this is your reading. Will they contact you and why aren't they contact you, uh, contacting you right now? Let's uh, find out. We have the Ten of Wands reversed. We have the Lovers reversed. We have the Strength card reversed. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. We have the World card reversed. We have the High Priestess reversed. We have the King of Swords reversed. We have the Magician reversed. The Chariot. The Seven of Wands reversed. The Star. And the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And then we have the Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. Um, positive thinking and faith will uh, bring you romance in reverse. We have Success. We have I Am Afraid That You Won't Take Me Back. Your silence is killing me. I want to make love to you. Um, I want you to make the first move. Hmm. So I also um, pulled out some cards for you over here. This is These are your feelings, your thoughts. So if you resonate with this part of the reading, then you know whether this reading is for you or not. So on your side, this is their side, by the way, you're over uh, at the right. This is their side, and the left side is your um, side. So for you, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And we have remain positive. And then we have for you, I am dealing with a broken heart. I miss you. I am keeping tabs on you and I am watching you from afar. I regret hurting you. Um, this person is monogamous. You feel discontent with your love life. And they are in a relationship with someone else. This connection is not over. You have com compatible personality types. Okay. So, um, right away, what I get, the reason why they pull back um, and sort of walked away and didn't contact you is because um, with the lovers reversed um, and a ten of wands reversed they this connection was sort of perhaps too strong for them in the beginning maybe they've never felt this way about someone or in general they did they just don't like being vulnerable because they were hurt in the past but yeah, they walked away because the connection was a bit too strong. They're, they couldn't handle their emotion. That's why they pulled back. Yeah, this 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 love you two had was like a burden. And so they released that burden. They separated from you. They walked away with from you because they just weren't strong enough with the um, eight of... With the strength card reversed, they probably um, 
in, in the past when they probably like lashed out at you it was just because they were like fearful and afraid and that's why they you know yeah walked away they just couldn't handle this connection that's what i see um right now and in in the present they yeah they pulled back they're with the high priestess reverse they're sort of avoiding their emotions they're um out of touch with their emotions and they're with the king of swords reverse they're sort of too uh logical too cold they they only think with their mind and not with their heart and they don't want to communicate because i kind of feel like um you see over here this is like um a chessboard and they see like love as that like sort of this game everyone makes a move and and you always have to one up someone they sort of see it as a game like you either lose or you win so they in love they always have like their guard up and their defense up they don't they can't really fathom the concept that you know love is not like that and it's not like a competition and it's not that the other person has to hurt you it could be too um grounded and stable loving individuals just loving each other uh, supporting one another being honest and truthful to one another and just en enriching the other person's life but this person has like a very uh, cynical view about love yeah they're very cynical and that's why we have the stay optimistic about your love life reverse because they're not really optimistic right now about their love life that's not what they want uh, that's not how they are feeling about love in general they they're so fearful that other people will hurt them. Yeah. But at the same time, um, they still miss you, you know? They uh, want to hold you. They want to, they want to caress you. Maybe physical touch is their um, love language. And they want, they want this back with you, you know, being close with you, being intimate with you. Just, yeah making love that's what they want but at the same time they're also fearful and they're they're just pulling back but you know this no contact situation is um affecting them so don't think that that this isn't affecting them because they show you this king of swords reverse this outer cold and hard exterior because that's not the case because your silence is killing them yeah, I think, yeah. But they know that they are messed up and they're afraid that you won't take them back because they know they hurt you by walking away. And that's the case. Because on your side, you're dealing with a broken heart. Yeah, you were devastated when this person um, pulled away because you felt this deep connection with them and you thought they felt it too and, and yeah you just didn't think that they would treat you like this so you're dealing with a broken heart but even still then you are still missing them you're still missing them oh yeah with the i miss you card and that's why you're still watching them so maybe um you have mutual friends and you're asking around Maybe you follow them on social media and you're just watching their posts. Maybe you see them every day at some uh, at work or something. But yeah, you're watching uh, them from afar and you're keeping tabs on them. And I think this is what you want from them. I regret hurting you. You are like watching them to see whether they regret their actions because you know they walked away they broke your heart and i think you are willing to take them back but only if they show true remorse and 
you know, let's say sorry. Because, you know, um, you love yourself first. Um, I think sometimes you do have issues with self-love, but overall, you, you know, you love yourself. Um, and yeah, uh, you do know that what they did wasn't okay, and if they would come back today and, and ask you to be together again, you would t think twice about it and, you know, tell them that what they, how they treated you was not okay. So you do have like self love, but I feel like you you should you do still deal with it because you're still like watching them and you do miss them and yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, with the with the um with the world card, I feel like you both of you are disappointed that uh, this didn't go the way you wanted it wanted it to go um and i feel like both of you don't want to end this like this is for both of you not over and we see that here with this connection is not over so they will probably uh, contact you again in the future or it could be because we have here the I want you to make the first move that they're waiting for a sign from you. It doesn't have to be that they're waiting for you to like text them or something. But just, you know, um, because they think you're very, um, yeah, of course, angry at them. And they're just afraid of reject rejection that they are waiting for like the, uh, the right time. And like, and make sure that you're receptive uh, to them again. So yeah, they 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 just want, and in like an ideal situation, they want you to make the first move. But even if you don't, I don't see this person like turning their back on you. I think eventually, um, they will do it themselves. But it's just going to take a bit longer. But yeah, they're hoping for a sign from you. And I do see right now. That um, it's not going to be anytime soon because right now with the magician reversed, um, neither the your person or you are able to like manifest this connection back into reality with the magician uh, reversed. You're still dealing with stuff and fears and issues of self love. So uh, not like right now. It's not like very soon, but I do see contact again. Um, in the future yeah I do here get the sense with the you feel discontent with your love life and the remain positive card that um, yeah you feel discontent with your love life right now because on one hand you have this person um, you know who has pulled back from this amazing connection that you two had this and yeah, you swore that this was like a, a connection that you both felt and it was deep and it was true love. So on one hand you have that, but you also feel like if you sort of move on from this, that you're not going to find this type of connection again, because meeting someone like this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So you're sort of at a crossroads, like whatever decision you make you're like hmm, i don't know if it's gonna get me what i want so you you kind of feel discontent with your love life but spirit is saying you know remain positive because this connection is not over this connection is not over um yeah i do see that you know you were very compatible you probably I had a lot in, in common and the time that you did spend you know it was fun and yeah you probably felt very comfortable with each other and you just compliment each other uh very well um i'm gonna clarify um this card the they are in a relationship with someone else 
because it's kind of throwing me off because here it says this person is monogamous so um that makes me think that you know in the no contact um situation or in the no contact period they're not going to pursue other people but then here it says they are in a relationship with someone else this could be that at the time that you met and this is not for everyone you know your situation so if this it doesn't resonate don't force it so if at the time that you met you know they were with someone else and you two were like um you know sort of dating each other this was like a third party situation and you were like the other person in the in the connection you know that they're still together with that person that that could be but let me just clarify please clarify for me spirit what does it mean the ten of pentacles and the star reversed yeah so um yeah so for some people they are in a relationship and yeah and you kind of feel hopeless about it you know now i know this the reason why they might have pulled back in the, in in the past because maybe they felt guilty um because they felt this really strong connection with you. But they were with someone else. They were with someone else. Like you see here, three people. You know, they probably wanted to be intimate with you. But they didn't want to hurt, hurt the partner that they were with. So maybe that's why they pulled back. Because, you know, it's sort of against their morals they won't don't want to be that person that cheats and they know they had no self-control so they sort of pull back that could be um so yeah maybe that's why um um you're so upset right now because you're maybe you fear that they will never um um that they will never leave there because yeah now i understand it okay so it says you're there in a relationship with someone else and this person is monogamous so they don't want to cheat on their partner with you but they know they have no self-control so that's why they pulled back okay so that could resonate for uh some of you but yeah they really had a strong connection maybe you two worked worked together or in the same friend groups and you know you just found out that you had a lot in common and you spend a lot of time but i feel like with the success card here that they are the type of person who like don't if they're married that they don't want to get a divorce you know so that's maybe um why they are staying but yeah they feel like a really deep connection towards you but they are probably already taken and yeah they don't want to cheat on their person because they would feel guilty so that's why um um this this um they pulled back but it says here this connection is not over so let me grab some more cards so what is the future for this connection what is the future of this connection Will they contact them again? What action is this person going to take towards them? Show me. Show me. Show me. What's the future of this connection? Will they contact that person again? What action will they take towards this person? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, 
we have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have they are married to someone else. Wow. Yeah, that's probably the issue. Your person may be different from you in beliefs, age, culture, or status. And someone else is pursuing them. Hmm. When I look at these cards, I don't get the sense that um, they will leave their person anytime soon. Hmm. I just want to have one more card. Show me one more card. Are they going to contact them? Are they going to contact them? What action are they going to uh, take towards this person? So, love is yeah, I kind of get this. This is the same exact um, energy. You know, I do feel like they're very attracted to you. I do feel like there's an intense connection between you two. But they don't trust themselves around you. You know, so with the love is reversed, I get the sense that they separate themselves from you. Because they know if they do... Um, you know, they will probably end up in bed with you, I guess. Um, but part of them does want to like sort of free them all, free themselves from the restrictions of a, a committed relationship. I think that this is their um, partner or spouse, this person over here. So I do feel like that they will stay with them. But, you know... With this, this connection is not over. You'll probably, you know, talk again and meet again. But I do only see, like, um, not like a committed relationship. Just, um, you know, making uh, love. It's just going to be sort of an affair that you two will have. That's the only future I see with you two. Because they're not ready to leave their partner anytime soon they're very sexually attracted to you so i think for right now in the future um if you stay around each other long enough they potentially will break and you will only like have like a sexual affair that's what i see um let me get some advice cards for you guys Period, what advice you have for Pile 2? What advice do you have for Pile 2? Show me. Go to places that pique your interest and talk to and meet new people. So yeah, that's um, your your yeah. Spirit is advising you to you know, don't put your eggs in all in uh, in the same basket. You know, try to meet new p uh, new people. Um, with COVID, you probably won't be able to go to clubs or something like that, but. You know, probably um, try to meet people online 
or um, when COVID is over. You know, just be open to the possibility of meeting new people. Yeah, just enjoy life, enjoy dating. Don't wait around for this person because they might not be able to give you what you want. Yeah, this back and forth is not good for you. So, um, yeah, they sort of want you to decide either try to pursue this or you know, totally back out of this, you know, cut, cut them off or something like that. And then we have, now is the time to be single for a while and focus on yourself. Yeah, so probably what you want from them. Um, is not something that you're going to get. And I know you're hurting right now because you're dealing with a broken heart. And I know that you felt this awesome connection and this deep connection with them. But right now, you need to love yourself first. And just be single for a while and just focus on yourself and be open to the... Just be open to the possibility of meeting new people. Just dating. Just have fun. Nothing serious. Just be single for a while and just focus on yourself. Yeah, so look out for denial, illusion, and deception. So yeah, don't... Like, be aware that perhaps... Um, no, you are not seeing things for what they are. And that's okay because we all, all go through that in love. But yeah, just be aware of that. That you might not like fall in love with their potential. And, you know, expect that they will give you like this fully committed relationship. When in fact that that um, is probably not going to happen because... They're dealing with someone else, or, or if they with someone else, they're probably not going to leave them. Um, and then we have, you know there are triggers that get to them, but avoid pushing these buttons no matter how badly you are tempted to do it. So that to me uh, tells me that you know that this person is very attracted to you. You know how to sort of seduce them, and I feel like you're trying to break them to... Um, you know, be with you. Um, yeah, but they're advising you, advising you not to do that. If you want to be with this person, I advise you to tell them, hey, um, I want to be with someone who wants to only be with me, wants to be in a committed relationship. So if you want to be with me, you should break up with your person and then we can date. That's what I would do. I would not try to like seduce them. And then hope that they will leave their partner and, um, yeah, choose you. Because that could only lead to more um, of a broken heart. Yeah. So that's the advice that I have for you. Um, I hope this resonated with you. Um, uh, comment down below whether this resonated with you. Uh, I would really love to know whether I got it right. Whether this person is with someone else and they don't want to cheat on them. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I hope to see you uh, back again on my channel. And uh, have a nice day. Bye. Okay, pile three. The rose quartz pile. He chose the rose quartz. This is your reading. Why isn't your person contacting you right now? And will they in the future? Let's find out. Okay, show me. The pile three. Why is that person not contacting them?
Okay, pile three, the rose quartz pile. <clears throat> he chose this stone. Let's find out why they are not contacting you and whether they will in the future. We have the seven of wands reversed. We have the three of cups reversed. We have the three of Pentacles reversed. We have the Sun reversed. We have the Page Page of Swords. We have the um, the Empress. We have the Ten of Wands reversed. We have the King of Wands reversed. This is the Ace of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed. We have the Four of Pentacles. And um, over here, these are like their feelings and their thoughts. And over here, these are your feelings and your thoughts. So um, if you like resonate with this part over here, then you know whether this reading is for you or not. So we have for them past life relationship. You have known each other before. And then we have, there's something bigger, uh, there's something better, <laughs> sorry. We have, I know you have someone else. You bring light into my dark world. I feel betrayed by you. I find you very attractive. And then on your side, we have the trust card in reverse. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And then we have the yes card in reverse. And then we have, I don't think I am worthy of love. I don't think... You are the one for me. I know you're getting over me. I don't know what I want. And then we have, they don't want to get married right now. This person is coming back after ghosting you. His friends, family, an ex or other women slash men do not like this connection. This person has ghosted you. You are wishing that they are the one while they are not. Yeah. So, um, this energy right here of, yeah, of this person is probably someone who you had something um, casual with, with the Three of Cups reverse. Maybe this was like a friends with benefits or, yeah, um, you probably were a lot more serious than they were about this. But yeah, this was, they or they only wanted something um, casual. Um, yeah, so... In the past, this person has ghosted you, but, um, you know, they want to come back after ghosting you. Because with the son of uh, reversed and you bring light into my dark, you know, you brought them happiness when you two were together. Um, they felt free with you. They felt happy with you. And now... Um, no, they don't have you in your life anymore. Like, their light is gone. Um, 
Yeah. This pro this person is probably not the person who like believes in in love and in marriage. They're probably sort of very pessimistic about those things. And they probably don't see themselves married to anyone. Or right now, they just want to, um, you know, play the field and have fun. And I also get the sense with the Sun card reversed in the past life relationship. Is that, that they don't recognize that this is a past life relationship. Um, yeah. So, in the past, with the um, three of pentacles reversed when you probably um told them that you wanted more and you didn't want something casual or a situationship or friends with benefits and that with this three of pentacles reversed they weren't willing to compromise or work with you um yeah so i felt in the beginning you sort of had um uh, your like you sort of had ultimatums for them or demands that you didn't want this anymore and when you saw that they just wouldn't give in you let this connection go I, I think not in the sense that you were the one who ghosted them because they were the one that ghosted you but yeah maybe or because you kept asking whether you two could be more serious, they ghosted you. That could be also. Maybe you two had some fights about this. And that's why they ghosted you. Yeah, because they don't want anything um, serious right now. Um, hmm. And I feel like... Um, after this, after in this no contact... Um, contact period um, you sort of moved on from them because with the trust card in reverse I feel like you don't trust them anymore yeah because here we have I don't think you are the one for me and the I don't know what I uh, uh, wait yeah the I don't think you are the one for me you know I think in the when they ghosted you and also just being in a casual relationship when you are starting to have feelings for uh, someone yeah and they sort of never reciprocated that really sort of damaged your self-esteem I think and maybe because you you're, you don't think you're worthy of love you put up with it for a while until they ghosted you and then you sort of um, woke up and you started distrusting them and you know you thought that they were not the one for you and that is probably correct because we have you are wishing that they are the one while well, they are not so probably in the past you wished but now you're starting to wake up to the fact that hey maybe perhaps this isn't the one for me even though you two had like a past life connection uh, this might not be like a life partner. You might have like deep feelings for them, but it doesn't mean that they are like your life partner. Um, yeah. And you probably think that they are over you, that they're probably dating other people. Um, and they feel the same thing. They think the same thing. I think they also think that um, that you perhaps have someone else. Maybe you've moved on because you you, yeah, you don't trust them anymore. And um, yeah, maybe they think you have someone else or you actually have someone else. You know that. Um, so it could all be in their head, but they kind of feel betrayed. Maybe they thought that when they sort of ghosted you that they could come back anytime they wanted and you would still wait for them and you wouldn't pursue other people. 
maybe that was like the plan for them and they thought that yeah you would just wait for them and when you didn't they f felt like sort of betrayed by that but you know if that's the case you know you shouldn't feel guilty about that because you didn't do anything wrong if they really wanted you they should have uh locked it down in the past yeah but they find you very attractive so this was yeah sort of probably more centered around lust for them in the beginning but i feel like when you spend time apart they missed you they started missing you and it started to be something more than just lust for them because you made them happy But despite the fact for you um, that you are starting to distrust them and you're starting to think that um, they're not the one for you, you still sort of are going back and forth um, because we have the yes card in reverse. So that tells me that sometimes you think, yes, this person is for me. And then the other times you're like, mm, I don't know whether they are for me. And that's also um, coming through here in the I don't know what, what I want card. So you're sort of confused. You don't trust them anymore. They damaged your self-esteem. You're probably starting to think that this is probably not the one for you. And yeah, you know, you probably suspect that they are maybe pursuing other people. Yeah, this is someone who, with the King of Wands reversed, is someone who likes their freedom, you know? This is not someone who wants to be tied down and get married. They they want to... Yeah, with the King of Wands reversed, this could also be someone who is like a womanizer or a... I don't know what's the male equivalent, so don't um, focus on the pronoun. It's just someone who likes to play the field. Um, yeah, that's what they want. You know, they find you very attractive here with the Empress card. But in general, they just um, like beautiful people. And yeah, they just don't want to be tied down with the Ten of Wands reversed here. Because they see relationships as sort of burdens. And they don't want that. They want to be free like the King of Wands. Yeah, but I, I do feel like both of you are still sort of having the other person on their radar with the Page of Swords. Um, and I do think with the Page of, page of Swords that they'll probably like message you again. But just know that there's a possibility that um, they are still entertaining other people. Yeah. Because I do see you with the Ace of Cups. Um, in the future, this could be your energy, their energy, or both of your energies. Um, the Ace of Cups is that this is like the birth of new feelings. So it could be that, um, you know, the more... You, you they like spend time without you the more they realize this past life connection and they start falling for you could be but with the five of swords they'll still be selfish as they'll still be think only about themselves and they'll still want to be like free and not tied down this ace of cups could also be your feelings um, yeah, they probably want to come out of this, um, separation with you with the five of pentacles, but this could also be your, um, your energy actually, this ace of cups could be not, not your feelings for them, but more like feelings for yourself, like your self love. That you start to love yourself more and that you, you, because the five of pentacles upright 
talks about feeling abandoned and feeling insecure and feeling inadequate and in the reverse you're sort of coming out of that because you're starting to love yourself more and starting to be more uh, you know put yourself first more with the five of swords and you realize that this is sort of a lose-lose situation that there's nothing really there for you anymore and with the four of pentacles you start to feel more secure in yourself more grounded yeah you will start to um, trust more in your guides and here we have the trust in reverse interesting so perhaps you don't trust you your guides um and trust in the universe that uh your love life will work it out will work out um well in the end but i see that changing for you with the four of stones you will feel like protected you will feel secure yeah you will heal yourself and give yourself more love i feel like um but yeah i do see that they will contact you but the reason why they're not contacting you is because um they don't want to be tied down right now they want to be free they want to date uh, they don't want anything serious right now they also suspect that you are perhaps entertaining other people i don't know whether that's true and sort of the ego is a bit hurt and they thought that you would just wait around for them that's also something um yeah but on the other side they do miss like you and the happiness happiness that you gave to them and the light that you brought brought uh, uh into their life um they're also yeah i do think that there are other people that they are entertaining here with this card his friends family and ex or other women slash men do not like this connection i don't get the sense that it's family or friends but it could be um yeah so that's what i see for you let's um Pull some advice cards for you. What advice do you have for pile three? Don't leave them out of anger, fear, or hurt. You may regret it once your feelings have settled down. I kind of get the sense that this is for them, not for you. That they might have um, left you out of, like, the fear of being tied down. You know, they have commitment phobia, uh, a fear of commitment. Um... Or, you know, they're probably angry because they think that you are entertaining other people. So, I sort of get the sense, you know, don't worry. Um, um, if you think that they're not affected by you, that's not the case. Because they will regret letting you go. That's for sure. Because they see you as the empress. And right now, in their life, the they don't have any warmth or light or happiness right now without you. So, that's that's sort of a consolation i guess and then we have accept their invitation or offer interesting i want to clarify these two later on okay fight the problem not the other person it's you and them versus the problem not you versus them look out for denial illusion and deception if you love the memories more than the relationship it's time to move on you know, these two cards uh, sort of tell me, you know, um, that it's, you know, that this relationship, you know, won't go the, go the direction that you want it to. So perhaps you should start, you know, moving on. But then we have these three cards over here that, like, tell you to give this... A chance like accept their invitation or offer maybe when they contact you or text you you should accept their invitation and just talk it out perhaps that will give you a uh, closure 
maybe would fight the problem, not the other person. Maybe it's, it's like, you know, um, don't blame them, like, sort of, uh, sort of, um, because you have trust issues, you know, find that security within yourself and start trusting in the universe, not trust in people, because people are fickle, but, you know, if you start trusting in the universe and sort of take responsibility and empower yourself, um, instead of, you know, um, sort of reacting to what other people do, um, you know, find the problem, which is this inner trust issues that you have. And if you do that, um, then you'll probably um, attract better people. Yeah, okay, I will get some more cards for you. What advice do you have for pile three? What advice do you have for pile three? Show me universe. What advice do you have for pile three? Yeah. It says here you see things differently than they are. Reevaluate things and stop waiting and live your life. Yeah, so stop waiting for this person and just live your life. You know, start loving yourself more. You're you are going to do that in the future. I see that in the cards. Um, yeah, just I think this is more this advice is not really about this person, but more about your mindset. Um, it's about these trust issues and you believing that you are not worthy of love. You sort of need to reevaluate how you look at love. And, you know, forget this person. You know, th these trust issues and these issues of love, they were probably there before this person came um, around. This person just triggered you and, you know, just put a little more a bit more salt in the wound but yeah it's i think you should work on how you view love and just you know stop waiting for another person to make you feel okay and happy about yourself and just give that love to yourself and start living your life and when you do that you know the right person will come along so yeah, that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Um, I hope it resonated. Tell me in the comments down below where, whether it did. And I hope to see you back again on my channel and have a nice day. Bye. Okay, if you chose Pile 4, the clear quartz. This is your reading. Let's look at why they're not contacting you and... Um, whether they will in the future. Okay, show me for pile four.
Okay, pile four, the clear quartz. If he chose this stone. Let's find out whether, uh, I should say actually, um, why they are not contacting you and whether they will in the future. We have the ten, uh, Eight of Pentacles. And it says here, Prudence. We have here the King of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the King of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, Reverse. We have the Princess of, Princess of Cups, Reverse. We have the Seven of Swords, Reverse. We have the Star card. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And it says here Wealth. Um, and I forgot to say over here with the Four of Cups, it says Blended Pleasure. And then we have um, the Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Uh, I got interrupted by something. So let's just continue. Okay. <clears throat> You've got religious factors in reverse. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We have the meditation brings answers. And then we have, I fear that this connection is over for good. I have options, but I only want you. I feel our connection is faded. I talk about you to others to get advice and support. And then on your side, we have remain positive now we have you deserve love you are lovable we have i respect you i'm not coming back i am drawn to you I am with someone else, but I want to be with you. We have here, you guys are taking a break and spending time apart. You are cynical about love. They are your twin flame. There are so many things left unsaid in this connection. They are manipulating you by telling you what you want to hear. So yeah, um, in the past, um, I saw um, that this person um, was very busy with uh, work, with the Eight of Pentacles here and the King of uh, King of Pentacles. Um, they are probably having some complications or some issues um, with competitors if they work in a business environment. Yeah, there were some issues, some obstacles that they were facing with work. Um, yeah, so they were just focused on their money or finances. It could be to COVID-19 that they lost their jobs and they're focused on um, money issues and, you know, trying to find work 
or they're just trying to focus on the work that they already have. But here's the catch though. I feel like despite, you know, um, being busy with work, um, I do feel like that this was not like a reason for them not to stay in contact with you. I do think that they could have, um, you know, the, there was enough time for them to, you know, date you and interact with you and, and, and talk to you with the King of Swords over here. When I was shuffling the cards, I hear uh, I hear the words fear of, ab of, of uh, abandonment. So I kind of kept the feeling that they're sort of hiding behind this excuse of, oh, I'm busy with work. Um, yeah, I don't see other people here because they say here, I have options, but I only want you. It could be that they mean like, you know, they might date other people, but they only want to be with you in a committed relationship. Um, but yeah, mainly because they were like busy with work and, um, they had some emotional wounds still and this a connection trigger that and with the queen of wands reversed and the uh princess of cups kind of get the sense that you were um sort of felt neglected by them and and that made you sort of angry and upset with them and that's why perhaps uh, we hear with the seven of wands you could have argued with argue uh with them in the past and that also made them push back but because perhaps um you know they saw these issues that you have a sort of signs that you know that this connection was gonna fall apart completely and that they were going to get hurt and sort of they sort of pulled back before you pulled back because they saw that you were upset and angry you wanted to spend more time with them they were too busy with other things with work yeah that sort of made you upset and that sort of had an effect on the um on the relationship because i feel like um in the past that they were cheated on with the seven of sword or they had a partner that was very deceptive and and lied to them maybe they i don't know stole money from them i don't know but they're still still healing from that with the star card over here they're still healing from this um ex uh and the relationship their ex relationship yeah so because you start to start it having issues they sort of pulled back and started focusing on their work um but on your side i feel like you don't want them anymore Yeah, you're sort of, um, you, you sort of have the feeling that, you know, I deserve better. I deserve someone who has only has their focus. If you see it, she's focusing on one point, the arrow on one point. So that's what you want. You want someone who has, gives you a lot of attention, focuses on you and sort of you're saying like, I'm not coming back. And I get this with I respect you is sort of you have sort of a lot of self-respect for yourself. I don't get the sense that you are someone who has issues with self-love or issues with self-confidence or let people use you. I think you're very solid when it comes to self-love and, and confidence. You just have a lot of respect for yourself. Yeah, and you know what you deserve and you don't accept anything less. That's why you uh, raise your concerns. You didn't just let them 
treat you like that and neglect you you know you spoke up and uh that kind of triggered them and that's why they pulled back but yeah you're still drawn to them maybe you're with someone else because it says here i am with someone else but i want to be with you because you're still drawn to them maybe you're just here to, uh, because you're curious um what is going on with them but yeah you're um with someone else i think i kind of get i've kind of got the sense that you've already sort of moved on from this person when it comes to love you're um you have a very positive uh outlook on it and if, even if you don't have anyone right now you sort of are you know open you, you know you're sort of pursuing and manifesting like someone and a good and healthy relationship yeah so you're sort of positive and you know that everything is going to be okay um yeah but on their side they fear that this is over because they they see that you are like that you have moved on and that you don't sort of respond to them anymore um but yeah they still have other people around them they have options but you know they can't measure up to you they only want you they i think they still have feelings for you um yeah they only want you and they kind of feel like this is a faded connection and here with the religious factors this is sort of a, a divine card for me because you see here this is an angel and you see you have all these spiritual and religious symbols um but it is in reverse so so they feel like this is faded but due to um outside influences this can this hasn't come to fruition and they fear that it will never will come to fruition they sort of see you as um star star cross lovers um yeah um and they are talking to other people to get advice and support from them because you know they're not over you and i kind of feel like a lot of time has passed by since you haven't spoken to each other but yeah here again with the meditation brings answers they're asking also their uh guides because this is a pretty spiritual person and this person does believe in soulmates and faith and fate and um those kinds of things so they're um yeah they are asking other people for advice because yeah they're really going through it right now but i feel like um with the four of cups that um either they fear that you won't take their offer and that's why they are not going to contact you or um it says that um you they will contact you but when when they give you this offer you are going to reject it because you've moved on to someone else. I don't think you're very hung up on this person anymore. Um, yeah, this person with the Three of Swords. Um, still heartbroken. I think you've come out of this already. They're still heartbroken because they still are, still are sort of fantasizing and daydreaming about this Ten of Pentacles relationship. They sort of still feel potential in this connection and they still sort of want it but yeah they feel like there are too many obstacles um to face and they feel like you don't want them anymore yeah because they fear that this connection is over for good and that might make them not contact you so if they don't contact you it's not because they don't feel anything for you because I feel that they feel more for you than you for than you feel for them. But it's just because they sort of see that you don't want them anymore and this is just not going to happen. Yeah, so again, you guys are taking a break and spending time apart. 
um, th and that is sort of confirming that this is no contact situ situation. And here with the you are cynical about love, this sort of is for both of you. You are kind of cynical about this connection. You're sort of pessimistic about this connection. You're not really uh, like convinced that this is like the one for you. You are drawn to them for sure. There's still have um, like some sort of impact on you. But you know what you want and you won't take anything less. And you know that there are better options for you out there. And for them, they are cynical and pessimistic about the outcome of this connection. They don't think this is going to come back together. And yeah, they might even think that you are their twin flame. I don't know um, whether for sure they are your twin flame. Maybe it's for um, a portion of you guys. Maybe not for everyone. But this could be like a, a divine connection. Maybe because the religious factors is... You know, reversed. I feel like they think you are your twin flame. This is not correct. But they feel this connection more than you do. Or they're more still stuck on it than you do. Maybe in the past you were sort of equal. Yeah, there are so many things left on set in this connection. And then with the Ace of Swords reversed. I kind of feel like you both um, sort of will give up on this connection and just go you you guys' own way. I don't think that they are going to contact you. Perhaps maybe once here with the Four of Cups, you are going to reject that because you don't like the offer or you already have moved on. Maybe too much time has passed on. But yeah, after that, they probably won't contact you anymore. Bec not because, like I said, because they don't have feelings for you or they don't want you. Because they do want you. They have options, but they only want you. But because they know that you have moved on, that you don't want them anymore. Yeah, I want to clarify this um, card. They are manipulating you by telling you what you want to hear. Because maybe in the past, they sort of told you not the truth um yeah that's why you in the past were upset but they are probably uh sort of manipulating you and telling you what you wanted to hear and that sort of backfired for them let's clarify The chariot reversed and the moon. Yeah, they were with the moon. They were hiding secrets. Um, again, with the chariot reversed, they sort of um, told you that, you know, um, that this was going to get further than they intended it to. But perhaps they, because they were still dealing with a broken heart. Um Maybe they were still hung up on their ex or still had feelings for them. And in the beginning, they didn't think that this was going to go long term. Maybe this was like a rebound relationship for them. But eventually they, um, you know, started falling for you and thought that you were like the one. But they sort of, in the beginning, I don't think this is like present or future uh, energy. They sort of told you what you wanted to hear. Maybe they were very attracted to you. I found you very beautiful and they, it was sort of lost in the beginning but then they fell for you and then they wanted you so let's um get some advice for you guys for pile four what advice do you have for pile four What advice do you have for Pile 4? Be patient, don't rush into it. Hmm. Maybe they, if you are sort of dating other people, um, they're sort of telling you to be patient, don't rush it. Um, either because perhaps 
there's still a future here or just take it slow so that th those new relationships don't end up like this let's see the rest of the advice address concerns without attacking the person yeah <laughs> so here you were um yeah you were attacking this person with the seven of wands queen of wands reversed and the princess of cups because you were reversed because you were um upset so maybe um when they do come back with this new offer perhaps talk things out and just address your concerns without attacking them if you are still interested in being with them um yeah it says don't assume that what happened in the past will happen again what's past is past what's past is the past so maybe they're trying to tell you that you know maybe perhaps give this person another chance um the things that happened in the past won't happen again and you know they've learned their lesson and they do have real feelings for you and they only want you so maybe they've changed it says you or, th or them needs to slow down yeah maybe you should have just given this person um a bit more time maybe you wanted a commitment fast and the universe is just telling you you know just let it um evolve naturally just go with the flow and it says love yourself enough to walk away okay that's very contradictory <laughs> yeah this is sort of the same as you deserve love here so maybe um this advice is split into two uh groups for one group you know the people and i think this is about the people who already know who already sort of have moved on and already know they deserve better, you know, that they, the universe agrees with that. And also for those people, again, you know, if you go into new connections, don't rush it. Be patient. Um, yeah, you need to slow down. And for the people um, who still want to give this person a chance, um, yeah, don't assume that what happened in the past will happen again. And if you have concerns, just address it without attacking them. But either way, for for both groups, it's like slow down. Don't rush into things. Um, yeah. Go with the flow because I kind of feel like you want to have a relationship now. You know what you want. Whether you deserve love. Um, yeah, you're aiming for it, like the one and marriage and kiss, you want it right now, but they are saying, you know, slow down, it will happen when it's supposed to happen, either with this person or not. I kind of get the feeling that you know um, whether this person is for you, because if you are a person who is just curious about an ex or something like that, and you've moved on, then... This person is obviously not for you. And if you are still are drawn to this person and you still want to give them a chance, there is a possibility of this, things getting better. And an offer being made here with the Four of Cups. But just slow down. Don't rush, don't rush things. Um, work on the problems that you have. Don't gloss it over. Um... With some romance or, or makeup or um yeah just go slow well that's the advice that i have for your pile four and that was your reading and uh, tell me in the comment section down below whether this reading resonated with you i hope it did um yeah i hope to see you back again on my channel and have a nice day bye